please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Bomb Squad Called to Trump's Treasury Secretary Secretary of the Treasury Stephen Nutchen received quite literally the smelliest present of the Christmas season last night when a Los Angeles Department bomb squad responded due to the delivery of a suspicious package. Turns out the only thing explosive about the package was its stench, as it was filled to the brim with horse manure. Classy. Real classy. According to NBC Los Angeles, a large gift trapped box, discovered to contain horse manure, was dropped off in Nutchen's neighborhood. A neighbor who received the package reported it to officials, who investigated with involvement from Secret Service. Local authorities reported the call came in around 7.30 p.m. regarding a possible suspicious package wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper was addressed to Nutchen with a return address label reading it was from the American people. The package was not left at Nutchen's home but in the driveway of a neighbor's home in the 900 block of Bel Air Road. Inside the present, police also discovered a Christmas card, which was also presumably covered in fecal matter. The card made negative references to Nutchen, President Donald Trump and the $1.5 trillion tax bill that Trump signed into law Friday, police said though the exact wording has not yet been disclosed. The LAPD and Secret Service agents along with the LAPD bomb squad officers swarmed the area to investigate the suspicious package. The bomb squad x-rayed and then later when deemed safe to do so, opened the package revealing the stinky contents. No injuries were reported. An aerial video of the scene taken by an NBC Los Angeles helicopter, a bomb squad officer can be seen opening the suspicious package as well as dumping out its contents. Three members of the LAPD bomb squad can be seen standing around the pile shining flashlights on the manure and moving it around with their feet checking to see if anything additional was hidden within the smelly contents. Nutchen was said to be at his home when the package was delivered and during the ensuing aftermath. LAPD and Secret Service officials stated he was made aware of the situation but was not in immediate danger. No evacuations were made as a result of the package. The LAPD reports the bomb squad handles more than 1,000 calls potentially related to bombs every year. Of those calls, only about 22 percent actually involve live devices, live military ordnance or illegal explosives. Nutchen became the 77th Secretary of the U.S. Treasury in February when the U.S. Senate confirmed his appointment by President Trump and all of this hoopla is due to the backlash against the recent passage of President Trump's tax bill. Speaking at CNBC and Institutional Investors Delivering Alpha Conference, Nutchen spoke about the new tax plan recently passed stating yet again top earners will not see their tax bill fall under the tax plan being worked out by Trump administration and lawmakers, describing the plan not to cut taxes for the wealthy as the Nutchen rule. The Trump administration has repeatedly echoed this sentiment stating that it plans to reform the tax code and would not cut income taxes for top earners. Instead, the administration says it is focused on cutting income taxes for the middle class and businesses. Nutchen said the top tax rate may be cut but that this would be offset by the loss of deductions, particularly as it pertains to deductions for state taxes. According to Breitbart News, there are multiple myths with regard to the new tax bill as evidenced by the smelly and classless package sent to Nutchen. In fact, middle-income Americans are the biggest winners under the tax bill. One of the reasons critics of the tax cuts claim the bill will raise taxes on the middle class is stemming from the fact many of the cuts to individual tax cuts are set to expire after 2025 in order to comply with Senate budget rules. If those cuts are allowed to expire, taxes will go up, however, there is no reason currently to expect that Congress will allow those tax cuts to expire particularly if the right maintains control of the House and or the Senate. Middle-class Americans will see the largest deductions in their tax bills according to the facts as reported by the nonpartisan Joint Committee on Taxation- Middle-income Americans win the most. People earning between $40,000 and $70,000 would see their tax bills falling by 7.1 percent. People with incomes between $20,000 and $30,000 would see a 10.4 percent decline in their tax bills. Millionaires get just a 5.3% cut. And most middle-income Americans win. 
81% of taxpayers earning between $50,000 and $75,000 get a tax cut under the Senate bill, according to the junction for people earning between $75,000 and $100,000, 84% get a tax cut. The same with those earning $100,000 to $200,000.